Hi friends, let's get started with our lesson today. We will be doing some spelling to complement our reading. Materials. For today, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. Our learning targets today are, I can read the high frequency words soon, under, little, every, really, one, and any more. And I can spell words with long vowel sounds like moon and any more. Here we go. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together, together. Let's go. Stand up and let's think about what we've learned. Let's make some great connections with letters and sounds. Fluency. Let's practice our high frequency words with the Go Fish game. Go ahead and cast out your line. And what did you catch? Soon. You already caught another word? What is it? One. Cast out your line again. Reel it in and take a look. Little. There are a few more words to catch. What's this one? Every. Cast out your net. See if you can scoop more than one word. What's this one? Under. And this word? Any more. Cast out your line one more time. Reel it back in and what did you catch? The word really. Nice work fishing for and reading those high frequency words. Transition song. Now it's time to listen, to listen, to listen. Now it's time to listen to the sounds in some words. We hear sounds to spell words and then we can read words. It's time to spell some words now and segment each sound. Today we are going to write a sentence by spelling words that have the vowel sounds we have been learning about. Some of the high frequency words will also be very familiar. Grab your paper and your pencil so we can get started. Ready? Listen to the sentence. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. I'll say it again. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. Let's get started. Our first word is it. That's a high frequency word that plays fair. We will need an uppercase I because it is the first word in our sentence. Go ahead and add this word to start your sentence. It is. That's another word you know. You can add it to your sentence also. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. Add the word to. T-O-O to your sentence now. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. Let's tap out the word dark. d -ar -k. We start the word dark with the letter D. Do you remember how we get the sound R? 
If you said AR, that's correct. The word dark ends with the letter K, which makes the sound K. You can add the word dark to your sentence. Remember, our sentence is, it is too dark. The next words are all high frequency words. To see the. Try to write those words on your own. Then you can check them with mine. To see the. Go ahead. Those were all familiar words. Did you leave a space between them? It is too dark to see the moon. The word moon has three sounds. Let's tap it out. Moon. We need to get the word moon started with the letter M. What vowel team do I need? to get the sound oo in the middle of the word. Did you say oo? If so, that's correct. M oon. We'll end the word moon with the letter n. Go ahead and write it. Our last word is anymore. Let's sound it out. N-E-more. That's also a compound word. Let's look at each syllable together. We start off with the sneaky schwa sound. It makes our A sound more like the letter E, eh. That starts off the word any. Any ends with a letter Y because we know that the Y can say E at the end of a word with more than one syllable. Any more. Go ahead and add the word any more to end your sentence. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. Make sure to add a punctuation mark to the end of your sentence to let the reader know that you are finished. We'll add a period because we are telling our reader something. We are not asking a question or exclaiming something. Now that you have that punctuation mark, Let's read the whole sentence together. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. Nice writing. Closing reflection. What did you do today to help you become a more proficient speller? Keep looking out for those new high frequency words. I'll see you here next time.